Hey guys, what is going on? This is Apple Tech. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be collabing with one of my YouTube buddies. We're gonna be showing you guys our personal top five favorite city of tweaks. So mine and his mixed together is top 10 city of tweaks of our personal favorites. Now these are tweaks that we use on a daily basis. And if you haven't seen them, you're gonna see them in this video. If you already have them, then they're probably ones that you would probably wanna get on your device. However, Let's get started. Now, kicking it off with the first city of tweak I got for you guys. This one is called maximization, allowing you to maximize any application that you're in. Of course, in the settings, you can enable and disable the apps that you want this tweak to affect. But for instance, if I go into Instagram, this is where you will see the tweak takes effect. It eliminates that status bar, giving you a larger or basically using the whole phone for that certain application. And of course, this is courtesy of maximization. Moving on to the second one I got for you guys. This one is called Android Lock XT, a tweak that has been in the jailbreak community for a while. And I gotta say, this was one of my favorite tweaks when it first came out. Of course, I had to get Android Lock XT. They do have Android Lock by itself. That's a free one. So you can check it out and see if you like it before purchasing the XT version. Now the XT version gives you more options. Of course, you can set your pattern. You can also change the appearance to the extent. It also has theme. So instead of having the old Android lock pattern, you can also have blades. You can have Pac-Man and squares, etc. So you can basically unlock your device however you would like using a pattern. And I find this one to be very awesome. It allows us iPhone users to use something that an Android user would only have. And I gotta say it's a tweak that would make someone else look at your device and want a jailbreak. Now this next video tweak I got for you guys is gonna allow you to do tasks on your iPhone a little bit more quicker and you might enjoy this one. This one is called NC Settings. It basically a notification widget that allows you to disable or enable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your volume, your brightness, etc. Now inside the settings, this is where you can customize the toggles that you wanna enable and disable. You also have your volume, you can mess with that as well as vibration. However, you also have appearance, so you can find Cydia themes that support NC settings. Of course, they have default and blue, which blue looks pretty nice as well as default. Simply swipe down, and of course, you can swipe across the widget, simply tapping on the ones you want. So say, of course, if I disabled Wi-Fi, I would say Wi-Fi is off, Wi-Fi is on. However, this will save you the time and hassle from actually going to the settings and having to manually disable it when you have a widget that will do it with one click of a button. Now the fourth city of tweak I have is for those of you guys who like moving animations and this one is called Live Papers, allowing you to have a moving wallpaper for any of your iDevices. Now, of course, once installed, you will find an application on your springboard. Simply go into it and this is where you can purchase certain wallpapers. It comes with a pre-installed one which is called Bubbles which of course moves, but you can't really do nothing to it as far as customizing it. But once you download or purchase ones from Cydia, like for instance, I got the Nexus one, you can configure it through the configure tab on the top, set your own wallpaper, the strips, the length, and basically just customize it to whatever you would like. You can also set it from your home and lock button towards the top simply by tapping on those and exiting the application. You guys will see that the wallpaper or the moving wallpaper will automatically set. The great or the thing that just brings this tweak to life is you can either interact with this wallpaper. So simply by me tapping on the screen, as you guys see here, you guys can see that it does actually interact. And although it's not a fun and productive tweak, it's one that will have heads turning and tell you, hey, where'd you get that? Now the fifth city of tweak I got for you guys is called Tether Me, allowing you to use your iPhone as a personal hotspot, basically turning your cellular data into Wi-Fi so you can give Wi-Fi to other devices that you may have. Now, of course, I find this very helpful if I have an iPod laying around, an iPad, and I'm not at home, I can simply connect it through using Tether Me. It works through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or even USB, so I can plug my iPhone into my 
laptop while I'm away from home and it will give my laptop Wi-Fi from there. Now I have to say the most awesome part about this tweak is knowing that this is a feature that your service provider would charge you say 25 bucks added to your bill. But however, all you have to do is pay a few dollars on Cydia and you have it permanently, no more pain. And you basically have your own router from your phone to give other devices Wi-Fi, which I gotta say, that's pretty awesome knowing that. And on top of that, it does come in handy when you're not next to your home Wi-Fi. So guys, those were my top five favorite Cydia tweaks that I keep on my device and use on a day-to-day -day basis. However, I'm gonna hand it over to Kyle's Tech. Hey Apple Tech Helping Viewers, this is Kyle from Kyle's Tech and today I'm going to show you my top 5 Cydia tweaks, so let's get straight into this. The first Cydia tweak I'm going to be talking about is called Infinity Board, and actually what it does is it allows you to put as many apps as you want on one page. All you have to do is scroll down to see your more apps. And basically, if you see on the right side here, you're going to see a little scroll bar and it shows you how much you have. So in theory, you can just put all your apps on the front page and uh, just scroll down and you'll see all your apps on the front page. So it's really convenient and uh, I really like the tweak overall and think it's really worth the download and uh, I do really like it. Following that tweak, we're going to talk about Infinity Dock. And actually what this does is it follows it just to the dock. And it allows you to put unlimited apps on the dock. So basically you can put all your apps on the dock if you really wanted to. Uh, I really like it. It's just a really kind of like a follow-up tweak for the Infinity Board. And uh, it's, it's really useful. You know, you could put more apps. And all you have to do is scroll to the right or the left uh, to get all your apps. So this one's cool as well. And you guys all can find these basically on the Big Boss repo. Some are paid, some are free. So go ahead and check them out and find out. The next week we're going to be talking about is really cool. What it's called is it's called Android Delete. And basically what it does is when you delete an app, it makes it a little different. It makes it look kind of like an Android platform, which is really cool. It just mixes it up a little bit. As you can see here, what do you do? What you do is you drag the app down to the garbage kind of bin, as you can see there. Uh, the first time it was a little laggy, but it's not usually laggy. Don't worry. And then you could just delete. I just canceled for the sake of the video. Uh, but you just go ahead and say I wanted to delete Facebook. You just drag it into the garbage bin. Thing, and uh, you're basically good so I thought this was a really cool tweak and definitely worth to put it in the video I, I like it a lot so that one is Android delete the next tweak is awesome this is actually one of my favorites and what it's called is gridlock 2.0 basically what it allows you to do is put any app anywhere you want so it kind of fills up the empty spaces if you if you really want to say that so basically what it does is like I said is it fills it up as you can see here I made K for Kyle's tech and uh, it's really cool so gridlock 2.0 it allows you to put any app basically anywhere so it's really cool this is how it usually has to be as you can see here uh, and now I put it like that and I also do have infinity board set up so you, you could scroll down for more apps and and all that cool stuff so say I wanted to move the activator app over here I could just move it there and it works perfectly and it's really cool so uh, if you guys are looking for something to like spice up your iPad a little bit make it look different than every other iPad uh, this is definitely a tweak for you and I do like it overall Last but not least, it's called page names. And actually, what it allows you to do is name your pages. As you can see here, I have two pages, and the fr first one is called the home page. And basically, what you do is you just tap on it, and then you can edit it. I even put an emoji on there, which is really cool. And then uh, you just scroll, and you could go to the second page and do the same thing. And however many pages you have, you can name. So it's super cool. It's a very useful tweak. And I actually found that it's one of my favorites uh, just because it kind of organizes your iPad more. And I really think Apple should just have it installed kind of like stock so it's really cool and I like the tweak and you should go download it well guys that's pretty much it for my top five city tweaks hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know what you thought in the comments below if you guys want to check out my channel you can at Kyle's tech feel free to subscribe and comment on some of my videos so thanks again for watching and see you